take us through the official rules for XFC 13 Unstoppable. All right, the rules tonight are the unified uh, MMA rules. Most people are familiar with those. The scoring is a 10.9 uh, must system, which people pretty much know that from boxing, but it means the winner of the round gets 10 points, the loser gets nine. You tally up the end of the thing and you find a winner. All fights are three five-minute rounds. Okay, great crowd on hand here at the St. Pete Times Forum in Tampa. We are ready to get XFC 13 underway. To get us going, here's Christopher James. For you folks at home, welcome to XFC 13 Unstoppable! Tampa Bay, are you ready for the fighters? Let me hear you make some noise! 4-0 versus 8-1, both men 25, one inch height advantage going the way of Joe Ray. Also the weight advantage going the way of Ray, and also the reach by some two inches, that is from armpit to end of fist. XFC 13, unstoppable! Are you ready to be an XFC champion? With over 300 locations in 20 countries and over 2 million members, Powerhouse Gym is the largest gym licensing brand in the world. Are you ready to train? Visit powerhousegym.com to learn more about opening your own Powerhouse Gym or get seven days free to a Powerhouse Gym or a participating Powerhouse Gym XFC affiliate near you. Powerhouse Gym and XFC, train to be a champion. Are you ready? XFC 13, unstoppable. I'll tell you what though, uh, Michael, I'll tell you, don't blink on this fight. Both these guys like to knock people out. It'll be interesting to see how long this one goes. Here we go, first round, Michael Chabello, Guy Mezgawithian, Jeremy Smith, the South African in the black and white trunks. Right, an orthodox stance, look out for the handiwork here of Jeremy Smith. He gets in early straight line punches. Just trying to thread the jab through the guard here of right. Right there, good right hand there. He's followed up, the, oh, good left hook. He's followed up with the kick or something. Now. He's kind of throwing one technique. Inside leg kick from Smith. Gets underneath the left hook. Tyclin Jolly from Joe Ray. Good knee to the outside left thigh there from Smith. Yeah, Smith doesn't give you his head that low. I uh, wouldn't get that head low, that low against the guy with the knees of Smith. I mean, excuse me, Ray. I said to you earlier that Joe Ray does possess a beautiful tight clinch. We saw it used earlier on. He should try and go back for that tight clinch. Lock the hands around the back of the neck of the South African Jeremy Smith. Smith just dressing him up against the cage at the moment. I'm going to work those knees to the outside left thigh of Joe Ray. Nice knee switching up there off the left leg. And Ray returns the favor. Caught him on the forearms. Well, Smith is kind of doing a good job. He's keeping uh, Ray's hips pushed up against the cage. It's, it's hard for Ray to throw uh, hard knees that way. But uh, nothing's going on, so it'll be interesting how long they're going to let this go. Surprisingly here, Joe Ray hasn't put on a knee guard to prevent those knees coming through from Jeremy Smith. Perhaps could break off and find an opportunity to work an elbow here, Jeremy Smith. Nice high knee, the upper right rib cage. Now the Muay Thai clinch locked on from Joe Ray. Only goes back to a single hand now. Looks for that double-handed clinch once more, but he hasn't got the fingers locked in there. And it's ineffective. He throws the elbow over the top after he had an uppercut. And we're back to centre cage. The crowd appreciating that extreme. Oh. And a spinning back elbow from Joe Ray. Oh, that was good. That was slick. Oh. Beautiful clipping left hand, and Joe Ray puts him back inside the Muay Thai clinch. Don't forget, folks, if you're on Twitter, you can join us. Follow us here tonight, Guy Mezga, Chevello Voice, an official XFC, eight minute fights, all on Twitter. Single leg here from Jeremy Smith. Downward elbows, I like those, to the clavicle region from Joe Ray. Good use of the elbows early on here from the local Florida fighter. Smith gets the takedown, tries to pass. Oh, he's going into the armbar though. Excellent, excellent transition, but he's letting it go. He needs to keep it a little bit soft up, tighter. And Joe Ray find an early sub here with two minutes 14 remaining in the first round. He's doing a good job. He needs to keep moving around. You know, he needs to keep moving. Uh, yeah, he can't stay underneath him like the eyes out. Nice transition though, it was a nice attempt. And Smith Joe straight back on him here. He's got a good tight choke around him. Oh, he's got it tight. 
Goes to side control, does the South African, and now he can work those knees. He can drop them to the midsection off the left leg. He can also work a submission of his own. There's a back elbow to the upper right rib cage. Good positioning here for the South African. You know, interesting because uh, you really can't expect this to be a tie boxing match, and uh, it didn't last that long on the feet. Not as long as we expected, at least. Looking for some ground and pound here. Good up kicks from Ray. Oh, now yeah. kick to the midsection. Belly button through the back there. And Joe Ray with the uppercut almost took out the ring lights. This crowd is on their feet. Good outside thigh kick from Ray. Smith looked for the counter left hand. What a way to kick off XFC 13. Near the corner again of Joe Ray. Look for the uppercut off the right hand. Skips forward, switch up round kick. That means you switch the lead leg to the back leg to kick it. I'll tell you what, Joe. Oh, beautiful round kick. Smack bang off the back leg. And the right hand through the guard. Muay Thai Clinch gives it up though, Jeremy Smith. I am surprised that Joe Ray is beating Jeremy Smith to the punch here in the first round. Uh, yeah, you know what, he's, he's doing an excellent job of using his reach, but you know what he's not doing is throwing the combination. You know, it looks like he's actually hurting Smith pretty good with those shots, but he's not following him up. Good work, the knees again. Just chopping up that outside left thigh here, Jeremy Smith. Look for the uppercut, didn't have the trajectory on it though, did Joe Ray. And Smith, keeping him pressed against the game, eats the uppercut. There's a crossing elbow. Muay Thai clinch, but gives it up Joe Ray. Final 10 seconds of the opener. It has been an absolute barn burner. This is a tough, uh, tough round to call. You know, it really is a tough round to call. End of the round, we go to the towels. One down, two remaining, and listen to that. The big crowd here at the St. Pete Times Forum. XFC 13, unstoppable. XFC 13, unstoppable. Let's take a look at this beautiful spinning elbow. Ooh. I'll tell you what, he, he caught it mostly with the tricep, but if that had been a couple more inches, it would have been an issue. Now here's the transfer, boom, he's going for the, the hammer lock, and then he reverses into an arm bar attempt right here. What he didn't keep doing is swinging his hips through, uh, but that was excellent, uh, excellent transition there. Right up, got an absolute treat throughout the entire first round for Joe Ray. And have a look at this kick here. Beautiful off the back leg. Forearms guard from Jeremy Smith, but it momentarily rocked him as and it he got shattered into the forearms. And we missed there was another good right hand that landed. Smith landed 18 arm strikes. Ray landing 15 arm strikes. A 76% landing ratio for Jeremy Smith. A 55% landing ratio for Joe Ray in the first. <laughs> Referee Chris Adams. To get us underway in the second of three. As Guy Muzgas said, a hard opening round for our three judges to score on that 10-point must system. Nice look at inside leg kick there from Joe Ray, just above the knee, and he shoots the cross down the centre corridor. Yeah, I'll tell you something, Ray is starting to really land things. What, what the punch that uh, Comfy Trike does not count for is the effectiveness of the strikes, because I think Ray's got the best of it. Like, boom, nice shot there, and you already seen Smith's eyes starting to close. His corner better get an inswell on that, uh, this next round. Smith landed a glancing right hand to the temple there. Didn't quite have the mustard behind it. Probes with the jab, does Jeremy Smith. Takes an outside thigh kick to the elite quadriceps. Oh! oh spinning back elbow! Sanchai would have been proud of that one, but Jeremy Smith may have found his second win, but he still can't connect with a clean shot, and that left eye of Smith is almost swollen shut now. My word! That spinning back elbow was something special. Muay Thai clinch here from Joe Ray. He is putting on a clinic that Lumpini Stadium in Bangkok would be proud of, God. Absolutely, that was a phenomenal spinning. Spinning anything stuff to hit, especially a spinning elbow, but that was right on the butt. I will tell you something, man. Jeremy Smith is one tough customer taking a spin elbow like that without even stopping. Downward, hammer fist strike. Joe Ray has just landed some heavy salvos already. 13 out of 33 strikes landed. 
65% landing ratio for Ray in the first. Need to the inside thigh there from Smith. The South African need to start finding the target here because he is getting busted up in the second. Well, I'll tell you something. You could, you could see uh, Smith's lack of real wrestling experience because uh, he's getting positioned, but instead of using it, he's kind of muscling his way through, which, like, you know, someone with uh, that lacks of wrestling experience. Yeah, his face is not looking good. There's probably that, that much swelling. You know, I'm afraid it might be a uh, cheekbone. Uh, eye socket. Oh, it looks sorry, like sorry. someone has stuffed a golf ball under his left eye. It is completely shot here on Jeremy Smith. He's oh, got... he gets tagged with a nice counter uppercut off the right hand from Joe Ray. Jeremy's got to. Uh, Jeremy's got to know that he, they're going to stop this fight. If that eye closes, he can't see. They're going to stop the fight. He's got to fight with a little more desperation. And still, Jeremy Smith dropping his left hand that allows Ray to kill him with that right cross time and time again. There was a power salvo from Smith, but immediately he backs up, goes to the body. I, I, I tell you something. Both these guys are taking some hard shots. Holy smokes. Step through right hand. Try for the ball. Didn't connect for Joe Ray. For the reputedly big body banger that Jeremy Smith is, we haven't really seen him go to the carcass too many times so far. You know, he's just getting beat to the punch. He's had hard to, you got to work your way into the, into the body. He didn't get an opportunity to do that. Joe Ray could try and snake the arms through to the tight clinch here. Good tight forearms guard. Gets out of the way of the wild uppercut off the left hand of Jeremy Smith. And back to center game. Ray looking to pick his shot with that right hand. Uh, the ref needs to stop and have the docks look at that eye. I don't think he can see out of it. You could blindfold him with a piece of dental floss at the moment, Jeremy Smith, <laughs> on that left eye. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's over a minute left in this, 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 uh, this round. You know, the thing is, you know, you can see Smith, he's just coming, giving it his all. But I don't know how the doc's going to let that fight go in another round. I don't think you can see. And Joe Ray knows he's ahead here. He knows he is just picking apart the South African, and he is not overextending. Jump beat me! And it's Jasky style. As he tried to take up the left leg there, Jeremy Smith, he wants Ray on the canvas. He gets him on the canvas. Inside the half guard here. And the submission from Joe Ray! Can he find the finish? No, Jeremy Smith's out! And he wants to posture up. He wants to work the ground and pound. What resilience! What intestinal fortitude from the South African! I'll tell you something, man. He's, been, he's winning fans on pure heart alone here. Holy smokes, he's going on. You know, he's a tough guy. A 25-year-old from Johannesburg has turned it on. He's going for the submission of Joe Ray. He's got 10 seconds. Can he do it? This would be amazing. Ray springs off the fence. Oh, his neck almost twists around sadistically. This is crazy. Oh, my goodness. This is awesome. This is XFC. XFC 13, unstoppable. XFC 13, unstoppable. This is awesome. This is XFC. You know what, I'll tell you something. I don't know how they're gonna let this fight go. I do not, yeah, look at that, he did not jump up. They're not gonna let this fight go. I, don't, I just can't see it. I cannot see the boxing commission letting this go. And his corner doesn't even have, uh, do they have a hip swell? Oh, 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 You know what though, it wasn't even on the eye that, uh, but it was a solid shot. Yeah, but he just kept throwing those counter rights right on that eye, that's what it Oh, you know, the very last second, you see Smith got his hand in front of there a little bit. Joe Ray oh, just this. turning on the Muay Thai arsenal, and here's the attempted submission towards the end of the round from Jeremy Smith. Did he almost have him here, Sexy Beast? Yeah, it was pretty close. I'll tell you something, you know. Let's put it this way. Uh, Ray's uh, defense against that in what we call textbook, textbook uh, defense. That's, oh, my God, I'm in trouble. I'm trying anything to get out to me, and it worked. Seventeen strikes landed out of forty for Joe Ray, and they were all power salvos. As the cage side position goes to work on that left eye, 
And it looks like they have cleared him for the final round here, Jeremy Smith. You've got Man, to wonder, I can't believe though, that. You've got to wonder how many of those right hands he could possibly still could sustain. Say his corner did a good job because now you can see his eye because you couldn't see his eye, uh, you know, at the end of that second round. They did a good job of keeping people slowing down. Boy, I did not think they were going to let that fight go. Third and final round of what has been an absolute cracker. What has Jeremy Smith of South Africa still got left in the tank? He fires the right hand to open up the round. Joe Ray has been all over him with the Muay Thai skills so far as he puts in that right cross, steps through with the jab. Gets underneath the round kick, tries to gather with the left hook there. Does Jeremy Smith and misses the target. Lead right hand from the South African. Ty clinching goes for the meet and greet. Checks the leg kick. He is blowing up a storm too here, Jeremy Smith. Breathing very heavily through his mouth. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, listen, he's he's got more than just that eye problem. You can see his whole side of his face is swollen up there. It's probably a serious fracture in his cheekbone. The winner of the XFC Open tryouts in South Africa as XFC has truly gone global this year. The recent show in Northern Cyprus, anticipated shows perhaps in China, and also big plans here in the USA. Jeremy Smith trying valiantly, throwing the combinations, but just doesn't have the accuracy, nor does he have the snap at this stage. And Ray hasn't really thrown down so far in this round. He's being cautious. He knows he's ahead, Joe Ray. He knows that so much as he doesn't do anything silly, he'll win this fight by a decision. Nice counter right cross again from Ray. Well, Ray's doing a good job actually sticking in there and just countering real well. Good inside thigh kick to that femoral artery. And that one there cut the pie up the center. Jeremy Smith just apologizing. In the second round, Smith throwing 41 arm strikes. Ray, 27. The referee just checking that Ray's junk is okay. Still a long time remaining here. If Jeremy Smith can somehow swing the pendulum. Three minutes, ten on the clock. But it may take a minor miracle. They took Muay Thai clinch and a good knee to the upper left rib gate there. Looking for the takedown, couldn't get it though, Smith. Is he going to get his back taken? No, good work from Jeremy Smith. The South African is not done yet. I'll tell you something, man, this kid was hard for days. Strikes. Posturing up here to work some ground and pound Jeremy Smith. A great and tough in South Africa. Such great fighters over the years, especially in the K1 ranks. The likes of Mike Bernardo, Virgil Calacoda. Francois Bofa, former pro boxer who turned his hand to K1 for a while. Jeremy Smith looked to pass here. Stuck inside the half guard at the moment with two minutes ten now on the clock. I tell you something, Ray's doing a really good job defending off his back. He's throwing good elbows, good punches, he's good movement. He hasn't taken any hard shots yet. The blood is that of the South African. Even if he does not win this one, Jeremy Smith, he has no doubt won over the crowd, which is saying something, seeing as he's fighting a Florida fighter. <laughs> Good forearm, just dropping it down in the jawline there of Joe Ray. The view you'd get if you were a bird. Still inside the half guard here, Jeremy Smith. And he is finding the target yeah, with some so ground awesome. and pound. 60 strikes thrown, makes it 63 with 41 landed now for Jeremy Smith. He is all over him, like a fat kid on a cupcake here in the final round on the ground. Will it be enough, mm. though, to turn the tide? He is raining down that right hand. He's, he's got over a minute, you know. He just needs to kind of start hitting harder punches. He's got to think about finishing him. Drops the elbows. You know, he's got to think about what it's going to do to finish him. These little things aren't going to finish his opponent. They're going to, they're going to rack up points, but he needs a decisive win of this round. It is time for the South African from Gorilla Warfare Gym to go eight on Joe Ray for the final 45 seconds.
He goes for the kidney. I love a nasty, dirty technique like that guy. <laughs> Rip into that kidney, son. You were dying all night to make that uh, whole ape and gorilla connection. I was you? waiting for it. He gave me the segue, brother. Thank you very much. He rips into the kidney, rips into the liver. He'll make Joe Ray piss blood for a week. I'll tell you something, man. This kid has got so much heart. Both of them do for that matter. I'm telling you something. This is the type of fight that neither of them want for the long term because it doesn't do them a lick of good. I'll tell you something. Other than the fact that their fans are going to love it. Final seconds. Up kicks here from Jeremy Smith. Big right hand and a solid left. End of the fight. End of the round. This one will go down in the annals of time. XFC 13, unstoppable. Are you ready to be an XFC champion? With over 300 locations in 20 countries and over 2 million members, Powerhouse Gym is the largest gym licensing brand in the world. Are you ready to train? Visit powerhousegym.com to learn more about opening your own powerhouse gym or get seven days free to a powerhouse gym or a participating powerhouse gym XFC affiliate near you. Powerhouse Gym and XFC, train to be a champion. Are you ready? This is what the XFC is all about. The best action in MMA. Here we go with our decision. Judge. Judge Ross scores about 30 to 27 for Smith. For Smith? All three rounds for Smith? No. Judge Davis scores about 29 to 28 for Joe Ray. Wow. And Judge Ballas scores about 30 to 27 for your winner. By split decision, Jeremy the wow. Pitbull Smith!